I woke up at 4 a.m. to a phone call. Just days after sending their kids to school in Israel. Mommy, I'm sorry to wake you, but a war broke out in Israel overnight. Vivian and Warren Rockmacker in Wellington. Like your phone keeps buzzing every minute. Have been glued to their phones for any updates on their 18 year old son and 20 year old daughter overseas. You know, our first thought was we got to get him out of there. We got to get him out of there as quick as we can. How do we go about doing this? She's calling us right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, do you want to answer that? On the line. Hey, sweetie. Their daughter, Talia, who's studying counterterrorism at Reichman, didn't want her location or picture broadcast for her own safety. Because our friends have gone to war. Our family has gone to war. We know people who have been killed. We all know people who have been killed and kidnapped. And Despite the threat and her parents' wish to bring her home. You know, it is very scary. No one knows what's going to happen in the next coming days. She's chosen to stay and help cook meals for those on the front lines. I know soldiers right now who are living off of crackers because there's just not enough food. And if I if staying here and cooking meals or going out and packaging food for soldiers will make a difference, then I want to do that. The death toll far into the hundreds. Many civilians, including Americans, have been taken hostage by Hamas. <laughs> Those kids that are fighting out there, they're the same age children as my children are right now. Leaving the Rockmackers to find comfort in religion, their dog, and phone calls that their children are safe. We love you very much. I love you. I love you. And, I love you both. And you have go, a, go to bed go and to I'll bed, talk to you tomorrow. Get to rest and I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Joel Lopez for Scripps News.